Hello Creative Tartanites and welcome. Today I'm going to share with you a much awaited review of the Art Sherpa Cat's Tongue brushes. Now I purchased my brushes at the tail end of 2017 and this is now creeping towards the tail end of 2019 so this review has been a long time coming. But stay tuned, I'm sure you won't be disappointed. So whether you're a beginner artist looking to purchase your first brushes or whether you're a more advanced artist looking to purchase more, then this is the video for you. I actually have a wide variety of the Art Sherpa brushes, but today's video is going to be focused on the Art Sherpa Cat's Tongue size 8 and size 4. I'm going to share with you my experience of using the brush, show you some demonstrations of me using the brush and really just get down to the nitty gritty of what it can do, how it's held up and whether it's value for money or not. As many of you know, when choosing a brush for acrylic painting, it's important that you choose the right brush for you. I really don't believe that there are any hard and fast rules about what is absolutely the brush to use because everybody paints differently. They have a different um, pressure in which they lean on the brush. They have different preferences for what types of techniques that they like to use. And this is why the world of choosing a brush is so complicated and overwhelming for, for some because it really is very much a personal preference. Now, as I said earlier, I purchased the Cat's Tongue size 8 and size 4. Now, these have a long handle. I like to hold the brush further back, which allows me the flexibility in my wrist and being able to stand back from the canvas. Now, this particular feature is also something that oil painters uh, particularly appreciate. So, in my experience, I really believe that these brushes will also be suitable for oil painters. And I've certainly heard on the grapevine that these brushes have been indeed used successfully by oil painters. So the bristles are soft enough to have a spring, but hard enough to allow you to spread the paint on whatever surface you're painting on. Now these cat's tongue bristles will hold water, but they're more designed to hold paint. So you get a little bit more controllability with how much water you're actually taking into the brush and putting into your acrylic paints. I also like the shape of these bristles. They come to a point at the end, which is why they're called cat's tongue. And they're great for being able to get a wider flexibility of the types of brush strokes that you can actually achieve. So you've got the wideness of a flat if you need it, and you've got the pointiness of a round for some delicate, more detailed work. I find this particularly helpful because it allows me to not have to swap out my brush as quickly and I can keep using the bigger brush much longer into the painting, which again helps me to be much more loose and artistic within my work. This can be clearly demonstrated here in this clip. As you can see, I've put in the background very easily, very quickly, and I then continue with the same size brush and I start to apply colour on the smaller area of the face. Here I'm taking full advantage of the point of the brush to sketch out my painting. And in the next clip, you will see me using the brush for the finer details of the mouth, including, as you can see, the little bits in between the teeth. So I've been using these brushes for nigh on almost two years now. And I have to say I'm very impressed with the durability of these brushes. I am particularly harsh on my brushes. If you've seen any of my um, other videos, you will see that quite often um, I'm, I am quite rough with the way I paint sometimes and these have not lost their shape at all. Um, they, they have 
um, coloured, uh, but these uh, started out as quite a light uh, bristle, so I'm not surprised that they've actually stained. They're, they're clean, um, they're just stained, uh, and it doesn't affect the um, quality of the brush strokes that you can get with these. And let's face it, if we own anything white, who can actually keep it white? So my last, but certainly not my least question, is are they value for money? Well, as I live in the UK, I'm going to go with UK prices. And at the time of this recording, the size four is available in Jackson's Art at £8.40. And considering that I have had two good years use of almost almost two good years of use out of these brushes and there is still plenty of life in them, I would suggest that they are good value for money. Comparing these to one of my other filberts, uh, which is a, a rounder um, bristle brush, I've actually noticed that um, my other filberts have actually splayed a little um, and uh, so they're not uh, quite as compact and as neat and it's a bit more difficult to get the detail with them uh, anymore um, and um, I can assure you that um, I've not had them, I've not been using them as long as I've been using uh, these brushes. So the fact that uh, these have gone on for so very long, I would suggest that they're quite the workhorse of the brush world. So in summary, these are a versatile and very durable brush. This, these have been my go-to brushes for almost two years now and I've thoroughly enjoyed using them and I suspect I will continue to thoroughly enjoy using them. They were designed by the Art Sherpa to handle heavy bodied paints but they can just as easily be used for some of the soft bodied paints, the student paints. I've used it all. So if you're in the mind to buy a new brush, I would certainly highly recommend the cat's tongues. I will leave links in the description below if you wish to purchase these brushes out of Jackson's Art. Now I will, full disclaimer, I am an affiliate with Jackson's Art. I love Jackson's Art and the reason I love Jackson's Art is because I have had such a positive experience with their customer service. So I have absolutely no qualms about recommending purchasing anything from Jackson's Art. I do hope that you have found this video helpful and useful. If you like this video, please don't forget to give me the thumbs up. It does help. I really appreciate you watching. If you haven't already done so and would like to do so, please subscribe. That way, once you've clicked the bell for notifications, you'll get notified of any future videos as they become available. So take care, everybody, and don't forget, look after your mental well-being because nobody else can. Bye for now.